Well, hello there, guys, and welcome back to another video. And we are still working with arrays, cause this is a practice video of arrays, which will be quick and short. What we are going to do is we are going to add two arrays and put that in a third array. So first, we are going to do vector addition, and vector addition. In case if you don't know, same columns are added to same vectors say to same columns to get the sum so let's say for example this was a vector 2 3 4 and we had to add this vector with another vector 2 3 4 so this will be equal to 2 plus 2 4 4 then 3 plus 3 is 6 then 4 plus 4 is 8 so that's how we add two vectors and in case of matrix say like this and say we had two matrices like this first is two three four that's it and the second call row is again uh, let's just say three four five so this is our first matrix and say we have to add it with another matrix we have to add it, it's very hard to represent over here so please bear with me. We have to add this with a 2, 3, 4, and uh, 3, 4, 5. This is our matrix, and the sum will be equal to 4, 6, 8, because same columns get added to same columns of the same row. So over here, the sum will be 6, and 8, and 10. So this is how we add matrices. So I have a code written over here for a vector or you can say a one dimensional matrix. So I'm just gonna quickly explain it to you and then run it. I'm just gonna clear my command window over here. Okay, so let's just get into the code. So what I've done is I have declared three arrays. First is A, B, and then sum. Of size is 4. and I have declared an integer i variable to control my number of columns or say uh, my array indexes and here's how it goes first I take my input in the array a or as so you can say vector a by running the loop from 0 to 4 let me just remove this int you can do this you can write int i equals 0 right here if it works for you, it's good. If it's not, we just have an entire over here as well, so it's fine. So let me just remove this entire, cause in some compilers, C allows you to, you know, uh, in, write the variables in between. It somehow it works. So I have just raised that int, cause this is the more correct way in writing C, because conventionally in C you have to declare variables at top. So let's just get back to into it. So i is 0 to less than the maximum size, which is 4. And our indexes go one by one. We take input in a0 first, then 1, then 2, then 3. Then i becomes 4. 4 is not less than 4. The loop breaks. Then we take the input in our b array the same way we take it in a array. And then we do the sum. So what we do is we sum ith columns is equal to ith column of A plus the bth column of ith column of B. So what's going on over here is first I will be 0 so A0 plus A0 will be equal to sum 0 and then I will become 1 so A1 plus B1 will be equal to sum 1 and then as it will go to 3 so A3 plus B3 will become sum equal to sum 3. So let's just save it and compile it okay I missed this something okay there's the error I missed the, this over here so we just compile it again and run it we will input say two three four five so this is my first vector and my second vector is 10 20 30 40 and as you can see it printed me pretty badly because I forgot a new line over here so let me just add that new line now we will compile it and run it 
Two, three, four, five, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. So as you can see, it printed me that a zero plus b zero is equal to twenty-two. Cos twenty plus two is twenty-two. Then a one plus b one is thirty-three. Cos thirty plus three is thirty-three, and blah blah blah. So this was vector addition. What about matrices? So let me just change this to matrix. I will say two. So we are taking two rows and two columns each. La la la. La la la. And for same thing for sum. Now we need another variable for our loops. Cause now our I will control the rows and J will control the loop of columns. So we need to change this four to two. Cause we cannot go more than the maximum size provided to us. I will just copy paste it so I'm just not gonna change anymore below. And now inside my loop for each row I need a loop for each column. So here we go. J equal to zero to less than the number of columns we can have. And J will be incremented one by one. And after this I we are going to say that hey take the input in ith row and jth column of ith row and the same thing will be done for our b matrix I sound like a robot sometimes maybe it's just me but I sometimes do sound like a robot what if I am a robot well maybe I am but if I am a robot I must be knowing everything anyways let's just stop this trash rubbish talk and as I made a mistake I'm just gonna copy it and let's just get back to it so instead of some instead of scanner over here I'm going to sum so as I said the same column will be added to same column of the other matrix so we are going to do is we are going to add the column in the ith row the jth column the jth column of the ith row to of the a vector to the b vector with the i row and the j column of the i row and we are going to store it in the sum vector matrix sorry matrix in the i row and the j column so what's going on over here is that i am telling the computer to get this i and this j will manage my columns and rows so first i will be zero so and the j loop will run now for i equal to zero j will be zero first so zero zero is equal to a zero zero plus b zero zero then j will be incremented to one then happen i will be still be zero so then what will happen is sum zero one is equal to a zero one plus b zero one then j will become three sorry j will become two two is not less than two so this loop will stop executing and the execution will continue after this loop which is here so since there is nothing to execute i will be incremented i will become one now j will run again from equal to zero to less than two so now i will be one and j will be zero so one z some one zero will be equal to a one zero plus b one zero and then j will increment to one then will sum one one will be equal to a one one plus b one one and then uh, j will become three two sorry two is not less than two so this loop will again stop executing and the execution will continue from here since there is nothing to execute i will be incremented i will become two so again two is not less than two so this loop will stop executing then we come to our printing loop so i'm just gonna copy this cause printing is similar to scanf I'm just gonna copy it over here <clears throat> and I'm going to print to you guys printf you don't need a caps lock printf cause c is case sensitive language some integer integer is equal to an integer and 
I am on my first person to be replaced by the number of rows, second to be replaced by the number of columns, third to be replaced by the value itself. I, J. So we're gonna save it, and then we're going to compile it. And I miss something somewhere. Okay, I inserted an extra square bracket. Here it is. We're gonna save it now, and hopefully it runs. GCC, yeah, it compiled properly, and we're running it. Two, three, four, five, ten, twenty, thirty, forty. Okay, so it printed me in not a very good way. So what I'm going to do is after each row, I'm going to leave a line. So we're going to leave a line. Now why did I did this here is because my row starts here and here's where are my columns printed. So when this loop has start completed its execution, which means j has become equal to 2, 2 is not less than 2, so this loop will exit which basically means that my all of the columns for my first row is printed so after the printing all of my columns I can just leave a new line to start my next row when I will become one from the new line so let's just show you 2 3 4 5 10 20 30 40 and now as you can see it printed me the first row which is the zeroth row in the first in here over here and then it left a line because all of the columns when printed the execution continued from here which says leave a new line and then I got incremented to one as you can see over here and then it printed me the I for the I equal to one throw or the second row so here is this 10 plus 2 is 12 correct 20 plus 3 is 23 and 30 plus 4 is 34 40 plus 5 is 45 so this is basically the matrix addition. You can pretty much do all the matrix operations. Try to do the multiplication one yourself. It has a tricky logic. If you can't, try to find it out on the internet. If you still don't get it, just tell me to make a video. I'll make a video explaining the multiplication logic. And there's also something called transpose, which basically means that these values, since this is a one column, this 12 and 34 will one column it will change two rows which means now a 0 0 will be 12 and after transposition a 0 1 will be 34 and this value will come over here so basically all my columns are my changed to rows and all my columns are changed to rows try to do that also there are basically vector matrix operations in C if you can do that, we will and good. If you can, just tell me to make a video. I'll do it for you guys. So thanks for watching this video. If you have any doubts, leave it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, guys. Goodbye.